Action. First ever guest, it's very weird. Victoria, welcome. What's your role and who do you work for? My name's Victoria Debman. I work as a regional business manager for a company called Healthcare at Home, who deliver treatment at home for people with chronic and acute conditions. Hi, it's open. Come in. So I look after hospital trusts across the East and West Midlands, primarily pharmacy and clinical teams to help support patients onto home care services. And then I liaise closely with our um, sort of operational teams, our clinical teams within healthcare at home to help get everything running smoothly, um, deal with any questions or queries customers might have. Um, and also link in with the pharmaceutical companies who in some instances fund some of the services that we provide. Obviously, you, you work in the pharma and healthcare sector and has the NHS been asking for more help? Or? To be honest, it's had a huge impact primarily in sort of ways of working because obviously a lot of the roles that sort of people within our business do are very much sort of office-based or based on site at a specific location. And credit to Healthcare at Home, to be honest, they've been, I think they've been really proactive and agile in sort of dealing with how they can make things work within current guidelines. So they were very proactive in, in quickly sort of identifying who could work from home and getting the equipment in and things like that to enable that. And also just reviewing sort of what they can do to support our key workers who are actually going into patients' homes to make sure they keep safe. Yeah, we've just been trying to work really closely with our NHS partners to mobilise services as quickly as we possibly can, get the treatment to these patients outside of the hospital setting. So yeah, it's been it's been very interesting. I think, like I said, that we've quite quickly adapted to having to work in this way. Mm. What about exercise? I'm looking more at James and Victoria. I'm not saying anything against you, Dave, but I just. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise, Dave. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Adam, can you ask the question again, please? <laughs> when it comes to exercise, all three of you, um, what have you uh, been doing during isolation? Matt, my, my husband, he did a Joe Wicks on our first day of lockdown. Mum's dad, get out for the last ten minutes. Come and join in. Mm. I've done a couple of bits. I've quite enjoyed it, but I, I've, it's only because I've needed to because of the amount of baking we've been doing what's your go-to bake my speciality is banana nutella loaf it's pretty good <coughs> it's it's filthy but it's really nice, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like, is, there, is there a recipe for that online or is that a creation of yours victoria it was something that i found online that was supposed to be healthy and then i added nutella to it <laughs> okay <laughs> so it's banana, banana bread, bread. It's banana bread. <laughs> yeah <laughs> what's the best thing you see like creatively or brand or pr something you've gone that's really good in the, this difficult time so one good thing that i've seen is the likes of audi and volkswagen mm. splitting up their logo <laughs> For a brand to tinker with its logo is quite rare because usual logo is quite mm. sacred. You know, you don't touch the logo in any way. So that was a very simple and kind of clever and sort of bold way of bringing home that social distancing message in particular as well. The one that sprung to mind based off of that was um, Jim Shark because they renamed their Twitter handle to Home Shark. A lot of brands do tend to sort of make little changes like that, and I thought changing it from gym to home was quite nice. Nice little subtle nod to it. I'm going to do a little mention here for the Goat Agency. They're so good at what they do as a whole. They do influencer marketing um, mainly. They do a daily vlog every day. So the Daily Goat has been going for 300 episodes. 300 episodes. Incredible, really. And obviously in this climate, they've not been in the office, so they've gone home. The video team and all the colleagues who prefer that chip in have just carried on doing it. And it's so good. So, so good at what they do. Growing a business globally, this actually is kind of acted as the glue. Here's to another 300. James, <laughs> what do you do at CWA? My name's James Carrera. I'm a senior account manager at CWA. And my role is very much client facing. So we kind of act as the, the middleman between the agency creative side and the client themselves as well. And it's changed quite significantly recently. So. <laughs> <laughs>
I think for me, it's been quite interesting. So I've always been quite integrated with how I approach campaigns and what clients demand. So whether it's a mixture of online and offline, as you can probably guess, we've seen a massive decline in the amount of offline stuff being done. The social has just gone absolutely through the roof, which has been good because we're well positioned to help with that. But it has been sort of a complete, wow, I need to learn this fast and get up to speed and start delivering on it because that's kind of the only channel that we've now got to talk to customers with. So Victoria, um, what kind of stuff have you been watching? I've got quite a soft spot for Peppa Pig, I have to say. It's a bit like a Disney film, you know, where they have two levels where you've got sort of the child content, but then you've got a bit that's aimed at the adults as well. You can pick out certain people that you know in the characters, definitely. Wow. Obviously, you know Adam quite well. Uh, which Peppa Pig character would Adam Ooh. be? I don't know why, because he's not that like him but for some reason as soon as you said which character mr bull and why that doesn't sound great <laughs> <laughs> hello mr bull what's up we're digging up the road will it take long it will take as long as it takes <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is the first and last time Victoria is on the lockdown lounge. <laughs> <laughs> so, Victoria. Yes. What is, to you, the most annoying song in the world? Annoying song in the world? Anything by E17. I just hate them. <laughs> oh, <controversial>. <laughs> I never thought that would uh, happen. <laughs> I think it's staying of the day, probably. Just yeah, because it's got to be staying of the day. It's summer, so why not a Christmas song? We'll tag Brian Harvey into this as well. <laughs> <laughs>